The Studio Chorus is a unique modulation plugin in Cubase, and it's unique because if you look at it, you'll notice one set of parameters on the left-hand side, which are also mirrored over on the right-hand side. Many of the parameters on the Studio Chorus are very similar to other effects. We've got the delay, which is delaying the signal on the left and right-hand side. Next to that, we've got the width, which is basically the depth. The higher you go with the width, the weirder the sound's going to be, or the more intense it's going to be anyway. The spatial parameters define the actual stereo width, and the mix parameter defines how much of the affected signal is blended into the overall sound. As we move down, we've got a low filter and a high filter, so we can define what frequencies we want the studio chorus to actually impact or affect. We can change the waveform using these buttons right here, and then of course we can actually move up the chorus effect itself. Now you can do this freely by just using the mouse, or in much the same way as you can with a delay, you can actually sync the chorus into the tempo of the project itself. And once you find that sync point or the right rate point, I guess then it's a matter of going back and adjusting the different parameters to try and find a sound that works for you. As always, it's packed full of different presets. Now this is a great place to start because you can easily get lost using the Studio Chorus. So make sure you take some time to go through and have a look at these different presets and they're fairly descriptive so they'll tell you exactly what type of instrument or track they're actually for. There are some really nice production presets which are designed to enhance a track and there's also some really creative effects that you could use if you're into more experimental music. There are so many uses for a chorus, and the studio chorus sounds great over almost anything. Here's the effect bypassed. And back in again. It adds a sense of depth and modulation to the track, which is something you'd hear fairly frequently in stuff like dub, reggae, and hip hop. Some other classic vintage instruments in which you'd associate the chorus effect are vintage keyboards like Wurlitzer's and Rhodes. For me, it immediately adds that vintage kind of lushness that you'd associate with this type of sound. And then there's the classic application for a chorus. You got to let it go. Choruses, especially the studio chorus, are perfect for lead and backing vocals. They instantly thicken up the vocal track and you'd be hard pressed to find any contemporary vocal production that didn't have a chorus as part of the signal chain. Somewhere in there there's almost likely to be some type of chorus effect, especially on backing vocals and especially in pop choruses. If it sounds a bit funny out on its own or a bit too rich, then maybe just bring the parameters back a little bit, especially the mix parameter and also the width parameter, and then try mixing it in with other effects like a reverb or a delay or even a light distortion. The whole idea of the studio chorus is to provide a versatile chorus effect that can be used across a number of different music production applications. And it can be used naturally to beef a sound up or to make it sound fuller, or you can use it as an experimental creative effect. Thanks for taking the time to stop by and check this video out. Please like the video if you've learned something and subscribe to the Cubase YouTube channel for plenty more videos just like this. I'll see you there.